Gun here with you today, and I got a good one for you. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I really am gonna go out on a limb. So I'm gonna explain some things again here. Make sure you know I am not a financial advisor, I have zero fiduciary responsibility. I do moon math, I do this for entertainment. Those set aside, I do like to think logically. I do like to analyze things in the market. I do like to learn. And this is how I'm doing things. So I am going to uh, make a call today for some interest. This could be my last video for the week because there's really nothing exciting happening this week. Pulse Chain is going to be next month. So Hex is going to get kicked around a little bit more. The markets suck. The news kind of sucks. X is a good discount. I get some powder in the keg at the end of the week. I'm happy about that. And grab some more. In the meantime, what's this call I'm going to make? What am I going to do here, folks? What am I going to do? Well, this call should be this. I'm just going to verify I've got the right screen here. Yes, yes, I do. Netflix is the call. So these guys, believe it or not, what does this have to do with the price of tea in China? Why would Netflix affect crypto? Well, here's some interesting things I want to tell you. All right. If you've been watching my previous shows, you might have an idea where I'm going with this. If you've been following any of the recommended information I would give, you probably have some idea. But you guys don't follow suggestions. I tell you, don't click like, don't click subscribe. Hell, don't even comment. Don't watch this video. Go away. Turn away. You don't want to hear this. You don't want to learn this. You don't need to know this. Yes. I don't know. You guys just don't seem to... Like the last video, my God, the clicks I got, do not watch. Wow. Reverse psychology actually works on a bunch of people on the internet. Ugh. Anyway. All right. All right. What does Netflix have to do with this? So I've talked a little bit about the markets here. Why don't we pull up hex price and actually look at, yes, I do source my photos. I got to learn to start closing those. Um, here, there we go. Let's take a look at hex price while I'm talking. So what does the price of Netflix have to do with the price of tea in China or the price of hex? So here, this little gem. I've talked before about what's going on in the market and I've talked about market correlation because the NASDAQ and the SPX are correlated with Bitcoin, which means they move lock and step like they're holding arms, walking down the street together. If you put your money in one and you put your money in the other is worth the exact same almost now because they've done the same things over the charts locked together. Why is that? Usually because the same money is investing in both assets. Occasionally because the asset is priced in the other asset using a bit of Hart's Law. So I believe a lot of major money is in Bitcoin. Then Bitcoin and Ethereum are paired together for you know trading in different exchanges. They have Hart's Law applied to them. Ethereum gets dragged around a bit by Bitcoin's price, especially when volume is low. If there's no regular volume in this asset class, its price is going to go where the other ones are going. Mmm, dragged along, whatever it's paired with. So, okay, I've shown you, and I'll show you again right now if you need to see this. So, let's do it. Let's go up and get the NASDAQ. All right, and let's add Bitcoin. Let's add Ethereum. 
You want to see these all lock and step together. This is a really cool effect. Watch it. It's going to it's going to make you cry. It's going to make you cry. Oh, look at that. Look. Look. Oh, that's what market correlation is all about. They're all moving together lock and step. Yes, there's a bit of variation. But the idea is not much. Putting your money in when the chart begins, all these start from the same point as if you put the same dollar into all of these in this ROI chart. And wow. All right. So Ethereum, I would have had just a little less than NASDAQ and Bitcoin just a little more than NASDAQ because they all went in the same direction together. They're correlated. Wow. All right. Well, that's something. That is something. That's market correlation and Hart's Law, where the money is and assets being dragged around. So again, what does the price of Netflix have to do with the price of Hex? Well, let's just finish this off. Correlation, beat at home in case you haven't seen it. I'll call this market correlation. Maybe, or I'll call it the price call. We'll see. But anyway, X. Now, why don't we, since it is priced in Ethereum, Hart's Law. As you can see, we're breaking correlation a little bit, but not a lot. We had some very varying in the ROIs when there was some trading in volume. So you can see suddenly you were above in hex, below in Ethereum, and then they swapped around here. Something funky happened. So that's where it's not completely locked. There can be individual trading. So you had a trading spike during this kind of flip over. There was a really big sale right there, and boom, hex suddenly went below it. Just like the RSI happens for the MACD, these little flip crosses. Because the assets are very similar but comparable. All right. So now you have seen linkage across the board. Now is Netflix starting to get your attention here? My madness got your attention. What does the price of Netflix have to do with the price of tea in China? So with market correlation, what the little fact is this week, today, April the 19th, a Tuesday, Netflix earnings, they report their earnings publicly for the market today. And the market should be opening in about half an hour. And then they should be reporting their earnings. If their earnings are good, which is to say they are not losing boatloads of money, they are almost just breaking even anything in a slightly positive number, we should be okay. There could be a continuance of a dead cat bounce. And this hex here right now, because of the correlation, might actually snap over this resistance this week and head towards testing the next line of resistance, which means a price jump up to around 15 cents. However, if the Netflix earnings are bad because they can't hold their consumers because they keep making worse content, well, we might see the price go down a little more this week and next week it breaks this after hitting maybe eight cents. Boom! Then it pops out to test that next line of resistance at 15 cents, roughly. Why do I say this? Why is that earnings? Well, I've shown you the market correlation. And in this, when you're talking about the market, the NASDAQ, the SPX, it, looking at it as a whole, the leaders in that are always the big caps and technicals. So you look at Tesla, you look at Apple, you look at Netflix, like you've seen me have on my trading view here, folks. At least if you've been paying attention. So when these stocks start to tip over and cave, Apple will be the last. It's the vanguard, the stoic holder of actually got some crap that is worth something. They, they, they actually really do. Netflix, they're losing the amount of content they make. They're, going, they're losing the amount of money. They, they just they have not planned well. And uh, they're basically giving crappier and crappier content while diversifying foreign content to get more foreign users and jacking the price for their native users. And then we're ditching it. Like, I'm getting rid of it after Stranger, uh, Stranger Things Season 4. Goodbye, Netflix. So right now, this week, Netflix is literally the most important earner for the main market line today. If they did crappy, the economy slowing down and <gasps> panic and NASDAQ comes down, Bitcoin comes down, Ethereum comes down, Hex comes down just a little bit more. Anything else? We can at least see some 
sideways actioner up and to the right a little bit continue the dead cat bounce a little more that for hex will get us over that resistance line you break us a little bit of that correlation for a minute in my opinion so that's the call i'm making for price and explaining market correlation so maybe that's what i'll call this hex price and market correlation try and explain something to you guys so this is my theory my thesis and i'm not even sure if i'm 100 right until we talk about it this weekend so yeah this will probably be my last video for the week don't click like don't click subscribe don't go to telegram and find top gun crypto school don't go to twitter and find top gun hexadian and yeah just go away Sh shoo shoo i said go i'm done now for real go home